Let's start recording this again while we're choosing a new nation. So I'm just going to load up the West Coast. Just because I think the West Coast is the most feature complete area. Because Montana and Canada are still very much being worked on. So I don't know how much I want to do up there just yet. Isn't MacArthur not complete, but Montana is. Oh, is that how it is? She can become a Brotherhood chapter now. Who was the pseudo-Brotherhood? Oh, it was, um... Guardians. So we've got Lost Hills. I don't know how much there will be to do with Lost Hills. And just thinking about it here... Because I'm on a laptop, time doesn't pass that quickly. So any game that requires a lot of waiting around is probably not the best to do at the moment. Uh, Reno, Vault City. I've never played as Vault City. She. She could also be good. Lost Hills are very slow. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Guardians can become a full-blown chapter. Oh, they can! Okay. Who else do we have here? Arroyo, 80s, TV Town, Sons of Karga, uh, Rogue Rangers. Rogue Rangers could be interesting. 215th. Jericho's Raider Queen. Caps from coring per infrastructure plus 15. So the more the 215th grow, the richer they become. That's kind of interesting. Guardians, Fortification Master. Hmm. Eureka. Oh, we could do the Mercenaries. Uh, New Vegas is not yet complete. Oh, they raised the infrastructure. Okay, less interesting with that then. Yeah, we're doing a poll. I'm currently getting ideas for what to put into the poll, so may as well start filling it out. Do 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 poll. New poll. Which question mark? So I quite like the idea of Vault City. I think that'll be interesting because I've never played as them. Lost Hills, I don't think I really feel like doing right now. Rogue Rangers, I think would be cool. She, I think, would be cool. Guardians, I think, would be cool. Eureka, I think, would be cool. Okay, I guess we're going with just the West Coast right now. We'll, we'll do one of the other ones later. Don't know how you got Assassin's Creed Black Flag to run, but you're better than me. I've spent two days fighting it, and the best I can do is load it on Windows 95 compatibility. I ran with no problems, Katie. Just out of interest, what are the other options? Utah's like New Cane and the uh, Great North, isn't it? Thankfully, it's fairly easy to flip between those chapters. It's not live yet, Jack Tank. I feel like the Western Brotherhood is under is gonna have another rebalance soon, so I don't really feel like the cause rot purges I feel like it's a wasted time as long as old country don't have a focus. Montana I'm pretty sure is not complete. Um these guys. Standing Rock. Are these the Cowboys and the Indians? No, these are the Cavalry. Ah yes, Cavalry. That thing I'm famous for. Roaches. Probably the Three Rivers could also be interesting. But I, I kind of feel like... Yeah, I'm, I'm going to wait until there's a bit more content for these guys.
It's not so much about the nation having content, it's also the people around them. Otherwise it's kind of pointless, because you'll just roll over them because you have a full focus tree and they don't. Okay, so I think it's going to be those five choices. I'm not going to deviate from those. So we're going Vault City, Rogue Rangers, She, Guardians, and Eureka. Get your vote on. Votes in. Vote, vote, vote. Get your votes in. Get your votes in. One day we'll play a full game as the NCR. One day. And one day we may even play as the Legion. Still never played as them. Get your votes in. Vote, vote, vote. Three Rivers has lots of content but it's not balanced. Like years after all the tech is done you still have focuses. That's a very noisy motorbike. I think that's somebody trying to tell me I need to play as the 80s. Right, there was a drink tea from someone. Who was this? Uh, Gaius. Cheers. Poll should be at the top of the uh, chat window. And if you're on mobile, it's somewhere. <laughs> I have no idea where it's displayed on mobile. I just know it's there. Somewhere. Honestly thought that was a plane. Nah, it's a motorbike. Very noisy in the motorbike. Just very slowly clicking through all the announcements on Old World Blues to see if there's anything else coming up. On mobile, it's all over the chat. Okay. Should be fairly easy to find then. All right. So, the vote is in, and I've lost it. There it is. In last place, wow, really? She came in last with 2% of the vote. I'm actually surprised by that. I thought that she would get more love. Uh, Rogue Rangers came in fourth place with 5% of the vote. So those two were the undisputed losers in this particular poll. Then we had Eureka in a rather distant third place with 16%. So clearly you lot don't like money enough. Meaning that it's the Guardians versus Vault City in the first place playoff with 41% and 37%. Between them, Orange Kessler coming in with a 25,000 point channel point thing. Thank you very much for that, Orange Kessler. Appreciate the investment. And it was ultimately the Guardians who lost out. We're going to be playing as Vault City, 41% for the Vault City versus the Guardians, 37. Hokily dokily. Surrounded by seemingly endless desert, Vault City is an oasis amongst the suffering wastes. Despite its beautiful appearance, the city is a corrupt pit of ethnocentric elitism and narcissism. Vault City is the most medically advanced faction in the wasteland, capable of cloning limbs and treating injuries that would be untreatable to others, but the knowledge remains sealed behind their walls. The former inhabitants of Vault 8 stand at the precipice where they must decide the future of their city-state. Whether they continue to spread their name and infamy remains to be seen. So they have the marvels of Vault City, which is a research speed buff, uh, justify war goal time increase, and their medical tech research speed. We are the mo more fortunate than most. We have the backing of the science and the equipment the Vault Tech has provided us to make our city an oasis of civilization in the wasteland. And then they have the NTR garrison which increases stability, decreases war support, increases weekly manpower, however reduces the amount of money that they make. The NTR has 
protected. Vault City for decades, keeping raiders away in exchange for payments to Shady Sands. But there are those in Vault City who wonder if the payments are worth the cost, as they fear the NTR's grip tighten around their throat. Alright. We are led by the intellectuals. I'm shocked. The Vault City citizens rigged the vote. Sponsored the election. Oh, that's a good way of putting it. <laughs> Sponsoring an election. Oh dear, I love it. Anyway, for those of you who were not aware that this is going to be a full six hour stream, because I was planning to go out earlier today, but I in the end didn't, but I was going to do a later stream to account for that, and I didn't in the end. Just double checking some stuff. All right then. We haven't had this bug for a while. It's, it's definitely high time we had it. It's, it's the no UI bug, which I thought only happened on my desktop, but apparently not. It's it's something unique to me. I've not heard of any other reports of the no UI bug. Apparently it is spreading. It's the Mordred bug, yeah, apparently. Yeah, definitely going to get pizza later tonight. That'll be my bonus for doing a six hour stream. And then tomorrow we've got D&D &D streams. Uh, well, stream. I might do a world building one earlier. Depends how much of the D&D &D prep I get done. Because I need to rebuild the templates because I forgot to bring them with me. And then do actual prep for the session. And considering that D&D &D session is going to be completely off book, I kind of need to prep the whole thing. And then Monday. Monday is yet another bank holiday here in Sweden. Pizza from the highly rated place, I hope, Mordred. Absolutely. I'm not going to renege on them now. Currently debating what recipes to make this week. What sounds better, a Reuben sandwich or a spicy cumin meatballs? I mean, Reuben sandwiches are really good. Then again, so are spicy cumin meatballs. Oh, I finally, finally found a supermarket near me that actually does microwavable meals. Yes! So I finally was able to try something which was not just hot dogs. So of course the very first meal was Swedish meatballs, because it had to be. And this was Old City. Pizza last night from a local place, much better than the chain stuff. I mean, the chain stuff, if you get it from the right chains, is very standard. Like, I quite like Pizza Hut, and I always have. Domino's depends. Papa John's probably my least favourite chain. You know, I'm giving Domino's un unfair flack. Yeah, they're pretty good. And there's Planet Pizza, hit or miss. Pizza Go Go, usually consistently pretty good. I don't know what local chains they have in Sweden. I know that there's Pizza Hut, because that's what the Magnus has ordered. My problem with Papa John's pizzas is they're so dry. Like, the dipping sauce that you get with Papa John's is amazing. But the pizzas themselves are a bit... Eh. Anyway, so, Vault City. What do we have going on? Settlement protection. No outsiders, no undesirables, no mutants allowed, local leaders, no training, wasteland economy.
And this depends on being at war. So on the wasteland economy, civilian factories and military factories are still very slow, so we probably want to focus on the infrastructure. One of the following must be true. At war, 30% war support. Ah, 30% war support is probably why Vault City abandoned the NCR in the previous game. Ruling party is ruler, ruling party is elites. Party government is trade to warmonger. And War economy needs war support. Okay, so all clear. While our records are not entirely certain about when Vault 8 opened, it is clear that it was the first one or two decades after the bombs fell. The world is a very different place back then. What were our first steps? Well, wow, Vault City is a pretty big focus tree. I didn't really realise this before. I don't think I've ever really looked at them. Five tech slots! Blimey! And we are sophisticated industry, electronics, construction, and exploitation. And support. Okay. And? Oh, cybernetics, right. Totally forgot that this existed. Was this tab even available as the NCR? I'm not sure it was. Do we have any special tax? No, we don't. Okay, well, starting with the research speed for sure. Then we're going to go on to the industry stuff. We are already well ahead of time on industry, blimey. Pet growth. Yeah, recycling is not that important. That's well ahead of time. Oh wait, I never saw these. Vault-Tech infrastructure. Monthly population plus 50%. Well, I think we should get that one. Max factories and state. Um, how big are our states? relatively big. So yeah, I think we probably can afford to go factories and state. And then we will also start working on a doctrine. Now, we don't have any doctrines we are very high-tech, particularly in support stuff. I don't think we're necessarily going to use robots. Could do principle. Trooper warfare we know is very defensive. 
She does have some pretty big bonuses for a fighting support unit, which again, we're going to have a lot of. Because we get all of the high level support stuff. Do I get specific doctrines? I don't think so. Land doctrine. Land doctrine. That's a no. Then we also have asymmetric warfare. Which is militia. And forces, either of which we're really going to use. Outsider inspired warfare. This is Behemoth's mutants. That's not us. So this is definitely between refined and conventional. Organization and reliability, whereas this has extra damage. This one has a lot of extra special forces units. We don't, however, get heavy special forces. Or we can go for Trooper Warfare, which, yeah, like I said, get the soft attack. Fire teams get bonus. So I guess this kind of depends on whether we get Special Forces or not. This is all political support. That's war support, support tech. Okay, next question. When it actually comes to support stuff, we have access to all of that, right? Yeah. So who benefits the most from good support units? Probably special forces. Well, no, not necessarily, because you can put a whole bunch of, like, fire teams in your army. Yeah, Demolitions Platoon. Fire Teams Platoon. Population, however, is very low. It will rise relatively fast, but I'm not convinced we're actually going to have the manpower for trooper warfare. I think we've got to go refined. Just have a very small elite force. Do I get anything about power armor? No, I don't even have the technology for power armor. That is completely missing. Do I get any infrastructure for my focus? Infra! Ooh, yes. Two infrastructure in, Vice C in Vault City. Vault City gets another two. Courtyard gets two, so everything gets eight, except for Vault City that gets six. And then you have to build it up to that level. Okay, 
So Vault City needs to go up to 6. Everything else needs to go up to 8. Except for Winamuka, because he's got nothing there. 5 factories. This might take a while. Yeah, true. You can also sometimes find stuff through scavenging. Um, get rid of those. Scavenging program I would love to do, but we need 10k bottle caps for that. And we'll need to keep an eye on this actually counting down properly. Uh, do I have... Yes, I do. A trade hub, and it's very nearly level 4. Just straight away. Nice. Renvar! Thank you very much for the follow. Welcome to the channel. Demand tribute. The raiders who take refuge just outside of our borders have sent us a simple message. Pay tribute, then pay anyways. No. City Guard. Just 10 combat with Guard. Oh, and then these are the NCR garrison, which are not even close to being as good as my own troops. In fact, they're flipping garbage in comparison. Interesting. Hey. However, the NCR... Oh no, those are mine again. Super Elite. Guard Captain Wallace. Strong and intelligent. That is a very good combo. Unfortunately, oh, your sir. stats do not match this. Those stats are garbage. Because every time you level up, you should gain three stats, right? What's up? No, two. So you start with one, 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 one. Level two, you got two. And three, you got two. No, that's fine. Space. Been had a decent meal in weeks. It wouldn't be a terrible choice to turn into a field marshal. I know previous focus trees gave them free units for start just FYI. Good to know. The all clear. While our records are not entirely certain about when Vault 8 opened, it is clear that it was in the first one or two decades after the bombs. The Vault was a very different place back then. What were the first steps? So we can send out scouts for manpower, which will get us water and uh, scrap. Set up a perimeter, manpower, outpost and bunker, or set up a GEC, which is for the rest of the game, production efficiency growth. I mean, that production efficiency growth is flipping huge. Caps update. I have already put this, but thank you. Okay, for that. okay next. The ghouls of Gecko. Though we almost came to blows with our ghoulish neighbours, we were able to broker an agreement. 